78 year old man was found to have a perihilar mass on screening CT scan. Remarkable for COPD. Okay. Uh, smokers, COPD always first diagnosis. Cigarettes, how many? Pack of cigarettes daily for the last 50 years. And he is also taking albuterol inhaler. Salbutamol, albuterol. The patient has bronchosal intramuscular atropine and becomes restless and combative. Okay. Classic case of atropine poisoning. Delirium and all of these things, right? You know it is an anticholinergic medication, right? Cholinesterase inhibitors can overcome the toxicity. Now there are of two types, tertiary amine or quaternary amine. Tertiary or quaternary amine. Tertiary amines, it's easy way to memorize what I have find, found out. Tertiary is three, three. Blood brain barrier has three letters. So tertiary amine is one which penetrates the blood brain barrier. And P for penetration, P for physostigmine. Physostigmine. Whereas here, touch quaternary, no penetration, no penetration of blood, so no stigmine. No stigmine, or you can also say neostigmine, which is used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Neostigmine, androphonium, pyridostigmine, they all are hydrophilic. So they will not cross the blood brain barrier. Uh, the classic triad which you need to not a triad, uh, one thing which I love in pharmacology is this my all time favorite the symptoms which occur and the mechanism. Hot as a hair, why? Decreased sweating because blocking of M3 receptors, yes, very good leading to decreased heat dissipation. So the person will be very hot, dry as a bone. Why is this called decreased secretions, mucous membranes, sweat glands. Red as a beet. Flushed skin occurs due to superficial vasodilatation due to increased body heat. Body heat and adult film. If you love erotic thrillers, body heat is a way to go. Blind as a bat. Paralysis or ciliary muscle known as cycloplegia. Double vision will occur if paralysis and iris sphincter it will cause midriasis. Midriasis, dilatation of pupil. This occurs due to blockade of M3 receptor and unopposed activity of alpha 1 receptors. In the iris there are two types of receptors, M3 and alpha 1. M3 are responsible, M3 are in the circular muscle responsible for pupil constriction, making the pupil small, circular muscles and alpha 1 are present in the radial muscles They're responsible for increasing the size of the pupil so if m3 is blocked by atropine obviously alpha 1 unopposed activity so dilatation then mad as a hatter altered you all remember that famous film right alice in wonderland check out who's a hatter in that it permeates the blood brain barrier and affects cns pathways causing altered mental status Full as a flask. The flask is full because there is decreased intestinal smooth muscle contraction in the bladder, decreased detrusor contraction, and decreased internal urethral sphincter relaxation. It is not being relaxed, it is up in a contracted state, so it will lead to constipation and urinary retention, like full. And last but not the least, fast as a fiddle. Fast as a fiddle leading to tachycardia. Increased heart rate, positive chronotropic, I have told you, crate, icon, backside. Crate is chronotropic, inotropic is increased contractility, dromotropic is increased contraction velocity, backside, bathmotropic is increased excitability of heart tissue. A new thing has come that is luciotropic. Tell me what it is. 
tachycardia occurs increased heart rate due to decreased vagal tone at sinoatrial node we all know the heart impulse originates from the sinoatrial node this was for rest and digest uh, so choice a and c both are wrong diazepam and haloperidol because they can be used for sedation or cases of severe agitation haloperidol you know it is an antipsychotic which blocks the dopamine receptors it blocks the dopamine receptors in the cns and diazepam is a long acting benzodiazepine that positively modulates gaba a activity neither medication reverses the peripheral anticholinergic manifestations like midriasis and tachycardia then edrophonium neostigmine are wrong because they are quaternary i mean which i told you diagnosis of exclusion and we know also pacifier so